Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you can join me again for another video tutorial. Today I'll be drawing Johnny from Sing 2. So let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top and draw a circular shape to the left. This is gonna be the eye shapes. And then I'll draw another one to the right. Now where the mouth is, we'll draw a U shape that comes down and connects those two end points together like that. We can draw a mouth in the middle of this lower part. And then we can draw two circular shapes for the eyes, but these will have a flatter lower section. So the eyes will be flatter at the bottom and then rounder at the top. So we'll do two of those. We can draw some eyeball shapes in the middle with a little highlight like that. For the nose, we can draw two circular shapes and we'll just fill those in. Starting up here, we'll go upwards and to the left. And then we'll do the same on the right side. From here, we'll come out and hook back in and then we'll have a little bit of a bulge down here and this will come all the way over and meet back up. We can draw an ear on the right side. We'll draw a smaller line inside of that. On the left we'll draw an ear from this point down and we can draw another line inside of that. Hey guys, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So please help us out and click that subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks. For the hair, we'll come off of this point and we'll come up and then we'll draw some like points as we come down. And this will end right about here. So if you want to come up and go like that and draw a few thinner hair strands in the hair like that. So our head is complete. We can draw a collar shape right under the chin. This will start right about here and we'll come over like that. Now for the jacket, we'll come off of this ear, just below this ear, we'll come out. And then you wanna come down fairly straight and then have like a little wiggle at the bottom. And then on this side, right where the collar is, on the right side of the collar, we'll swing inward and then we'll hook over to this side. I'm going to come out from here. We'll come out. We'll come back in and we'll draw another triangle shape like this. And then over here we'll connect to the ear and then we'll come down. So this will be kind of like the collar flap. We'll do the other collar flap on the other side. We'll come out We'll do a little V shape, sideways V shape, and then drop that down somewhere about there. Draw a little button on the right side. Let's draw the arm on the left side with a line in between this V shape. And then that line will continue and have like a little bit of a bend We'll stop right about here. We'll come up on the right side and we'll draw the right shoulder. We'll hook this over and this line will come down, have a little bit of a soft curve and end right about here at a slight angle from this side. Now you can come up from here and then we'll draw the inner part of the arm come up, we'll intersect this point, and then we'll keep coming up 
it'll go through this collar shape like that and then you can have a round line right about there. Put a couple detail lines right in there. And then same on this side, we can come up, make a connection there, put a little wrinkle line in his jacket over there. You can put another one here. So right around here, we'll come over with a rounded curve like that. We'll round the left side and we'll do the trim that follows that shape. For the pants, we'll start right about here on the left and we'll have a little bit of a bulge like that because his hand's gonna be inside his pocket. And then we'll come out to the left. His knee will bend and we'll come right about here. And now his inner leg will come up and over and then there'll be a flatter spot right here and then we'll do the same on this side over on the right we can create a line that comes down and then we'll create a curve right here and then he'll have like a cuff for his shirt, which will extend like this. And then we'll have almost like a rectangular shape with a line in the middle. So this will be two colors. We can do the same on the left. So have the shirt come down and then there'll be a break in the middle. And then his hand will be right there. And then you'll see a little bit of a bulge on that side. You'll see a little bit of a bulge here. Now on the right side, we'll have this leg come down from where the hand is. We'll come down like that. And he'll have two cuffs on his lower pants. So we'll curve this and then we'll come out and then we'll have a little wiggly line like this that wraps up. And then we'll do the same on this side. So we'll have a line that kind of hooks like this. This side bulges out a little bit and the same on that side. And then these will kind of connect together. Now for his shoes, we'll draw a line that comes out like this and then you'll have a little bump for the toe. And then this will come across to the right so we're gonna see the side view of a shoe. We'll come up, that'll be the heel. We can draw the toe shape like this and then put like maybe three laces over there. Now we'll draw the rubber thickness on the bottom. So we'll come and extend that a little bit and then we'll come across following this line above. And then we'll wrap that up. Now this shoe is a little bit different on this side we'll come down with the line on the left and then we'll come out from the right like this. And then we'll hook this and we're gonna add the rubber thickness all together right here. So that'll be the rubber thickness bottom. We'll come above that with another line and that comes across like this. Now this toe shape on this side will be kind of rounded like that. And then we'll put maybe a couple little laces there. Back up to the pants, we'll create a line like this and then a curved shape to the right and back up to meet up with the shirt. You can put a couple crease lines in the pants. That looks like it's being wrinkled a little bit. We can put a line in the shirt now he has a lightning bolt in the middle of his shirt. Right about here, we'll come across and draw this lightning bolt. We'll come down and flat, down to the left, kind of flat, and then we'll point this last one. And this will just come up into the jacket. And then there's a circular shape around this lightning bolt. So it starts about here and it comes across and it meets up 
and goes through the lightning bolt like that. And then above the lightning bolt, you can have the outer edge that kind of comes down and just completes like that. Put another wrinkle on the jacket. Put a couple little lines for like hair shapes. Sweet, we just finished drawing Johnny from Sing 2. And I'm gonna go and color this in because I wanna really see what he looks like all colored in. So grab yourself some markers and follow along. There you go. I just finished markering in Johnny from Sing 2. I think it looks amazing. I hope yours turned out really cool as well. If you wanna get the line art, just look in the description below and you'll, you can download the free copy of it. Click subscribe because I'm looking to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year and I need your help doing it. Check out some of these cool videos right here.